And as we head through the evening, it's going to be quite damp through at least the early evening hours. By 9 o'clock, those showers continue to fade. And by 11 o'clock, down to about 68 degrees as that rain continues to move on out. Tomorrow morning, we're going to be waking up close to what we're seeing already. Temperatures will drop just a few more degrees. Uh, 67 for that low in Orlando, 66 in Biflo. Expecting 61 in Palm Coast, 56 in Ocala, 61 in the Villages. So a pretty mild start to tomorrow morning. Average lows around 58. We're going to be, be, be in the mid-60s through the morning hours. Pretty muggy as well as we track some early morning fog. By 10 o'clock, most of that fog will be burned off. 77 degrees, 83 by 3 o'clock as that sun starts to poke its way out. And then as we head towards 6 o'clock, pretty comfortable. That temperature down to about 81 degrees. So again, here's 630 tonight. Showers continue to build on out by 10 o'clock. Dealing with a few lingering showers, but otherwise the majority of the rain has dried on out. Dealing with mostly cloudy skies. You can see that fog developing all this dark gray here in Marion County. Pretty much widespread across much of Central Florida by 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. We'll be watching out for that lower visibility. Here's the noon hour chance for a few spotty showers down to the south. Otherwise, most of us are clearing on up and as we continue through four o'clock, still looking pretty great out there and just a touch of cloud cover as we head towards Sunday night. So tomorrow afternoon, daytime highs right around the low 80s. It's going to be a beautiful day again. Once we get past that morning fog and cloud cover, it's going to be great. Temperatures will be in the low 80s, 70s along the coastline. And as we head towards Monday, we'll start to see that return to shower activity. A stationary front's going to be lingering overhead through Monday into Tuesday. That's going to bring a chance for on and off showers as we get towards Wednesday. Another cold front's going to swing on through. That's going to bring some more showers and storms. And as we go towards Wednesday night, those showers will start to fizzle on out. If you take a look at the next seven days, looking pretty active. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all dealing with scattered showers and storms as highs climb to 90 by Wednesday. By Thursday, still dealing with about a 50% coverage of rain. And it's going to be beautiful for next weekend. Friday, Saturday, mostly sunny skies with highs in the 70s.